everyone, how's it going? Today is going to be less about building things and more about testing things. Doing a uh, little bit of not just engineering or science necessarily, but what I want to do is I want to take a Venturi adapter. And so this thing has, uh, I may or may not be familiar with it, but they sit uh, on top of the carburetor mouth like so, and it's supposed to increase the volume of, of mixture flow down into the car by the, the Venturi effect, which is what actually makes the carburetor work in the first place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy air fuel ratio meter, my AFR, put it on the bike, and we're going to run a couple of tests. So the first is, I already know what uh, the current setup looks like. I managed to generate uh, a dyno with it for it using the GSF dyno app. And so I'm going to capture what the fuel air fuel ratio looks like at, you know, the idle, quarter throttle, half throttle, three quarter throttle, full throttle. Then we're going to put the Venturi on see how much it changes on the meter, then depending on how that looks, possibly, well, I'll probably take a dyno, then reset the car based on the necessary changes, and dyno again, and see where this thing winds up. So first things first, time to install the AFRs. If you look right there, that's the exhaust bung. And so what happens is that comes out this guy screws in, and then the whole thing is powered off of 12 volt. So without further ado, let's uh, get this show on the road. baselines now I'm gonna throw the Venturi on real quick and we will see what it looks like on the current jetting see if the mix changes any and if so then uh, maybe we'll probably grab a, a GSF dyno on the current mix and head back to the house because I didn't actually bring any jets with me so uh, ride over here to get it warmed up and kind of hit my test track uh, in the warehouse district but I only brought the maturity, I didn't bring jets. Anyway, let's do it.
findings. Did the Venturi make a difference? Well, I'm going to confess right now, I didn't get a GSF dyno out of all that. So I'll have to go back and do that another time and throw up a quick update. But what we did see is that it made a little bit of a difference at quarter and a half throttle. I think what was happening is that by the time it gets up to three quarter throttle, it's already pulling pretty much as much air as it can, given the constraints of the rotary, the intake timing, and so as a result, it really doesn't make a difference on the high end. Uh, I mean, the mixture was pretty much the same. So I'll take the dyno, but I'm going to be a little surprised if it comes out noticeably higher than what I had. So there it is. We uh, went out, we, we scienced it, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it on there or not. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just try it for a little while and see what I think, but did it really make a difference? Not in this case. One last thing. I promised a dyno, and this was the pre, so no Venturi dyno, but you can see 17 horses, almost 18. Not bad for the little VBB. We'll get the Venturi dyno and share that this weekend. Thanks, everyone.